This video is sponsored by JLCMC. JLC Mechatronic Components Marketplace integrates various mechatronic parts, aiming to provide a one-stop service for factory automation. Their goal is to enhance the efficiency of automation equipment supply, reduce overall procurement costs of equipment manufacturers, and promote the transformation of the mechatronics industry. Welcome to Al Jazari channel. Today we are diving deep into the world of workholding. We're talking about the unsung heroes of precision workholding devices. These tools ensure every cut, drill, and operation is executed with pinpoint accuracy. From the simplest vice to the most complex custom fixture, we'll break down how these devices work and why they're crucial for achieving professional results. Let's kick things off with the basics, vices, angle plates, V-blocks, and clamps. Take your standard swivel base vise, for example. It clamps your workpiece securely and allows for angular adjustments. Need to hold a cylindrical piece? The V-block is your go-to. And there's a clamp for practically every situation imaginable. Let us try to find a V-block in JLCMC. Type V-block in the search area. Wow, we have some here. Click this one to find the complete description, drawing and dimensions. Each V-block is suitable for a range of workpieces diameters. Order yours at a competitive price. To learn about more V-block products, click the link in the description. Now that we've covered the basics, let's step it up a notch. Sometimes standard tools don't cut it. Especially with complex parts or high volume production, that's where custom work holding devices like fixtures and jigs come into play. Fixtures hold and locate a specific workpiece for a particular machining or assembly operation. Jigs not only hold the workpiece but also guide the cutting tool, ensuring every hole is perfectly placed and angled. Custom jigs and fixtures can be an investment, but the benefits far outweigh the costs. They eliminate the need for time-consuming layout and marking on each workpiece, leading to faster production times and greater accuracy. Plus, less skilled workers can perform complex operations thanks to the guidance provided by jigs and fixtures. Anatomy of a jig locating, clamping, and guiding elements. These devices can be broken down into three essential elements, locating elements, clamping elements, and guiding elements. Locating elements position the workpiece accurately in relation to the cutting tool. Clamping elements hold the workpiece securely. And guiding elements ensure the tool engages with the workpiece at the precise angle and depth required. Let's take a closer look at one of the many cost-effective solutions JLCMC offers. Clamps. On their website, you'll find a huge variety of clamps priced at less than $2 each. Whether you're an engineer, DIY enthusiast, or hobbyist, JLCMC makes it easy to find exactly what you need without breaking the bank. Plus, remember that exclusive $19 coupon for new members when you register using the link in the description. It's the perfect time to explore their extensive catalog and discover high-quality mechanical components at unbeatable prices. Now, let us dive more into the workpiece location and its principles. Workpiece location is a fundamental concept in machining. It involves positioning a workpiece for machining operations. Accurate workpiece location is crucial for producing parts that meet the required tolerances and specifications. Proper location ensures that the workpiece is in the correct position and orientation relative to the cutting tool. This is essential for achieving dimensional accuracy, surface finish, and repeatability in machined components. To achieve good workpiece location, we must follow these principles. First, always use the most accurate surface of your workpiece as the primary datum. Using an imprecise reference point can lead to errors that add up quickly, throwing off your entire project. Let's apply the accuracy principle with an example. For this workpiece, we need to drill six holes with a diameter of 9 mm. To achieve this, the workpiece must be positioned precisely. To position it correctly, we have four options. The Phi 32mm bore with an accuracy grade of 10. The Phi 44mm bore with an accuracy grade of 8. 
the 554mm cylindrical surface with an accuracy grade of 10, and the 586mm cylindrical surface with an accuracy grade of 12. Among these, the most accurate surface is the 44mm bore with a grade of accuracy 8. Following the accuracy principle, this surface should be used to locate the workpiece. This ensures the highest level of precision for the operation, minimizing errors and ensuring the quality of the final product. The second principle is the workpiece requisites. The location must meet the dimensional requirements for the workpiece stated in the working drawing. For example, in the illustrated workpiece, the drawing clearly states that hole C should be at a distance D from face A. Consequently, we must use face A as datum for locating the workpiece while drilling hole C. This would ensure that hole C is at a distance D from face A. If we use face B as a stopper, the variation of length L would cause an accuracy in the position of hole C. The third location principle is constraints. Location should prevent linear and rotary motion of the workpiece along and around the three major axes X, Y, and Z. The shown plate can move along the three axes X, Y, and Z and can also rotate around them. The location system should prevent all these motions positively. The next two location principles are motion economy and redundancy. Work smarter, not harder motion economy and avoiding redundancy precision is paramount, but we don't want to sacrifice speed and efficiency. Motion economy is about eliminating unnecessary movements and making your workflow smooth and streamlined. Avoid redundant locators. In the case of the depicted workpiece, locating effectively can only be done on surface A or B. While both surfaces are machined, the distance between them varies due to process capability. Using surfaces A and B to locate the workpiece results in redundancy, as either surface alone suffices. If the distance between surface A and B of the workpiece is more, there would be clearance between the locator and surface B. When clamped, the workpiece would bend as shown. When the clamp is released, the distorted part would spring back to its original position causing dimensional as well as form errors. Adjustable support is your friend here. The redundant locator at B should be replaced by adjustable support. Foolproofing is another important aspect of workpiece location, especially for parts with symmetrical features or multiple orientations like the shown one. The shown workpiece is to be located from holes A and C. As hole B and C are equidistant from hole A, and they are also similar in diameter, there is a possibility the workpiece being loaded this way or this way. The first positioning is the right one. To guarantee this the fixture design must prevent the workpiece from being loaded incorrectly. This can be achieved using asymmetrical locators, blocking pins, or visual aids to guide the operator in positioning the workpiece correctly. In this example the blocking pin is used. By implementing foolproofing techniques, the risk of machining errors due to incorrect workpiece loading is significantly reduced. To properly locate the workpiece, you may use many location methods such as positioning pins, dowel pins, V-blocks and much more. A coming video will explain the suitable location method for different surfaces. Mastering workholding is an ongoing journey with huge payoffs. Increased accuracy, improved efficiency, and the satisfaction of operating at the top of your game. There's always something new to learn and a more efficient way to get the job done. Keep experimenting, pushing boundaries, and most importantly, keep making. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into workholding. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome content. Until next time, happy machining.